See me getting paid, but a nigga could be paid more. Money up the books, you won't know a nigga paid more. My hand in my pocket, my knife's in the left palm. I'm a calm nigga just as long as you stay calm. See me getting paid, but a nigga could be paid more. Money up the books, you won't know a nigga paid more. I'm here with Young Movie Stars, and we're about to do this interview. And let's let me introduce you guys to them. Young Movie Stars. And I have some questions for you. Reels. Okay. Reels. Mouth. You hear the X in the background. I'm a soldier for the cause, so what up? Don't tell me what it is, show me what it does. I don't really give a fuck who you said you was in the past. I wanna know who you are, tell me facts. Been there, done that. Yeah, I live that life, all that shit you talking about, I probably did that twice, so relax. Do you feel my energy? This shit here make you kidnap enemies, it's so real. Tell me, who inspires your music? Oh man, it's a long list. If it ain't my niggas, I'ma go back in time to Tupac. You know, that's yeah. a big inspiration for me, Tupac. Mm -hmm. You know, all the greats like Big Pun, right. Biggie. 50 Cent, yeah. you know, all them type of niggas like that inspire a nigga like yeah. you know, And even the suck ass niggas, you know, they inspire a nigga too okay. to, to be greater. Yeah. Them niggas suck ass, so we gotta be great, you know? Of course. So your haters are your motivators. Exactly. Now you gotta. Niggas see me, boy, that's for real. Huh? Catch your ass slipping, you get robbed, you get killed. What? Boy, you should scabal, leave your ass on the grill. Not Paper bad. bag, boy, put your body in the bag. Come on. Man, all that niggas bullet playing. Who inspires your music? I don't know who suck ass rappers are my inspiration. Okay. Makes me want to just. You just want to show. A thousand me. times better than me. Yeah. Inspires me to write your own. Uh -huh. Nate Dogg is one of my influences. Yes. 50 Cent is to Kanye West. The greatest. Banks, right. I got a lot of influences. Yeah. And like they said, them suck ass niggas. <laughs> Y'all don't okay. want to go to top five, top ten. <laughs> Real. Oh, shit. Yes. What purpose does your music serve? Like, what do you? What's the purpose you want your music to serve to like the community or whoever hears it? You know, my name ain't Real for for no reason. Mm-hmm. I like to speak what's real. Yeah. I'm going through what I see and you know, real shit. Smoking that fire, shots fired for the one time. I swear I could be a supplier. All you gotta do is holler more time. Nigga, I be there, no time for the slow grind. No way, gotta get mine all day, no play. Play around if you want. I'm like a monster truck. You a little guy, so stay out my way. You get crushed. No rush, but I'm in a fast lane. You can even trust time. Got two kids with my last name. It's my job to make sure that I'm five or twenty-five. Who would have thought I'd be moving this fast, man? This is facts, man. Some niggas could relate, other niggas please hate for God's sake. Cause at the end of the day, only thing that creates is opportunities to celebrate. To inspire niggas to, you know, to do what they could do, you know, to, to know that they could do it. Motivation. Motivation. Mm -hmm. Don't don't think that you can't. Yeah. Anything That's is possible. Life. You know, because a lot of niggas talk about other shit that, that ain't relevant, mm -hmm. that they don't live. Yeah. I, I like to speak about what I live and what I go through and, and what I see. So, you know, that's my purpose, to, to have niggas be motivated. Yeah. Who was your greatest influence with the music? Yeah. I would have to say fun. Yeah. Because for somebody being the same hood and have as much success as he has. Yeah. And he 
because he had. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That definitely inspired me. Yeah. The same hood. Yeah, he came from the same. Do the same thing. Definitely. Big time. Who was your greatest influence? Everybody who made it, you know. Really. Everybody who made it. Yes. Trying to get and there. Oh, so you're level. you're influenced by. By greatness. Greatness. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> who was your greatest? Like I said, Tupac, man, like, like... Influence. Influence is Tupac. Like, to me, mm -hmm. he's the greatest person that ever lived this motherfucking earth. True, true. To I, me, personally. I, I love Tupac. So, yeah, that's my influence. That's my yes. inspiration. That's my fucking idol. Mm -hmm. That's everything, yo. Young that's Michael. Yeah, Tupac. What is your creative process when it comes to writing your own music? I just think of people who motivate me. I think of my favorite artists. Mm -hmm. and, and I try to go into my personal life as well and try to relate the two and make it all relevant. Yeah. The wordplay. I like to play my words. It's my creative process. Well, me, we all do the same shit. I like to roll up a joint. It got to be some loud. Okay. Gotta have some drinks. Get, gotta get in the right vibe, you heard? I yeah. don't know how I forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Money on your strip cause it's easy, easy, easy. Why everything looks so easy, easy. It's real easy, easy. Why everything seems so easy. Cause real yeah. and easy, yeah. you make yeah. shit look yeah. real yeah. easy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to go ham on this beat. I gotta bring a pan when I sell a quarter key. Beat that pussy up, leave that box water read. That niggas ain't ballin', they gotta we water me. Do the same shit, you know what right. I mean? It's just and analyze. It you, know, you gotta analyze and, and get your mind right. As long as you have a topic on the, on the beat, yeah. you got the weed, you got the smoke. Right state of mind. Right state of mind, and it's yes. easy to write on that. You heard? Yeah, and so you put question it on, for all you. Paper. How did you guys meet? How did this be? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This shit was my cousin, so we, oh. we stuck together for a long time. I met him yeah. through him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, was crazy. We went to high school together. Okay. So, um, and it's crazy because I never knew he lived in my building. Wow. One day we just bumped into So, for years something. you've been going to high school with him and you didn't know he lived in your Right, right, right. Wow. Like so, for years they live in the same building. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. crazy. Like next door neighbors, we even know. So you guys could have been hanging out that whole time. Right, and he lived on the same floor. What? Like, the, right across. The, I mean, so. So how did you find out? We in, in the elevator, I think. Yeah, yeah. I was on my way to school. Baby. Oh my yeah. god. This nigga walks around the corner. <laughs> Looking at each other before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, type shit. Like I live <laughs> And then from us, I mean, we met him. Yes. And and shout out my nigga Bugs. Cause Bucks. that's his cousin. Right, that's Joe. his cousin. Okay. Sh shout out my nigga Bugs. Yeah, the other member YMS. YMS, my nigga bugged out, bugged out. See, a lot of motherfuckers be real sick because we all grew up in the same borough, the same town, and. I done prospered way more than these motherfuckers. And some of these niggas is older than me. You know what I'm saying? So due to the fact of that, a lot of niggas just be sick until you really like shit on them all the way and have them niggas really like, I fucks with some now. You know what I'm saying? With a smile, like you gotta overwhelm them with this greatness to make them be like, yo, fuck it, I give up. I gotta join them because if I don't join him, he's gonna do what the fuck he's, he's killing anyway. And you get on the back of it. Yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. I remember in EV, man. Miss McCoy used to chase the niggas around yeah. and all that. Bells and easy, high, high, high. we make shit look real easy. Now they gotta chase my fucking mother. Now they gotta chase my fucking mother. Now they gotta chase my fucking mother. Now they gotta Coming out of high school, you guys must have been young. Yeah, yeah. We didn't know our talent until, like, you know, after we got to know each other. Mm -hmm. And once we found out our talent, yeah, which was a few years ago, I was I was throwing parties in my apartment, and we, we had a laptop, the Mac, mm -hmm. you 
and we were just recording, so freestyling, in the garage band parties. Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? And from that point on, we was like, yo, we could do this shit. Yeah. And it was like a party, and y'all was hanging out. Oh, yeah, yeah. party. Smack fest, party, all that. <laughs> Shout out to G, Easy. Shout out to G Set, Easy, Sakana, Prince Gunta, Gunta, G Papers. We wouldn't compare with nobody. You wouldn't. We wouldn't compare with nobody. We just got our own sound, our own Everybody is different. Okay. Creativity. So you wouldn't say your sound sound so like similar to another rapper. It, it's funny because people tell me I may sound like like Fabulous or Jada Kiss or not even shout out my nigga D King he sound like Jada Kiss but you know, <laughs> you know I can't see the way. Kiss. Uh, compared to me. Yeah, we got our own our own style. You know, my nigga Maestro from Brooklyn. Yeah. You know, but we from the Bronx. Yes. So, you know what I mean? It's yeah. you know, class. Different. Yeah, no sound, okay. yeah. No energy. Yeah. So what's like your long-term goals with the music? Shit, man, I'm trying to take over, man. We trying to take over. We trying to be on top, man. Why I'm trying to start the franchise with it, with why I'm at. Yes. Keep the new Definitely. school coming in with the young, you know, young movie stars. We're trying to keep it young. Definitely. Because, you know, in hip-hop, you do need to keep doing that. Like, right. there's always going to be the next generation. Would you consider your music hip-hop or like a subgenre? Straight hip-hop. Hip hop, straight hip hop. Straight hip -hop. It sounds like straight, straight hip hop. Straight, straight hip hop, but at the same time, you could vary and, and branch right. off and do other mm -hmm. shit, you know what I mean? But our main focus is hip hop, because yeah. that's what we came up with, you know what I mean? Hip -hop. Yes. So, would you ever like consider doing a different type of music? Like, oh, yeah, like, like you could look on YouTube, Fresh Cat Easy 23 on YouTube, me, Gadget, featuring Easy. Yeah. You know what I mean? We got a video called I'm Gone. Mm -hmm. So I mean that's that's kind of like pop, oh. I mean, yeah, yeah. popish. Pop yeah. So you know, yeah. yeah. So, so you experiment with different beats. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. You know, I'm trying to grab every fan we can get. You know? Yeah. <laughs> One love. <laughs> so no discrimination. No discrimination. No. How has your music changed you? Like, do you feel like st music changed you? Like, was there a time you weren't doing music and you were a different person and then you started doing this and it changed, like, maybe who you are? How you um, think? Yeah. I don't think the music changed me. I think I changed and then I got into music. Oh, I agree. Wow. wow. It, it's all in, the, in your experience. You yeah. Know, in, in your mentality. Okay. Cause when I started rapping, I was 13. You know, these niggas started young too. Yeah. And, and at that time, it was straight punchlines. You know, you gotta kill everybody. Yeah. And now that, that I mean, we at the at the age where where we realize. Yeah. We we gotta make a change. You know, cause a lot mm -hmm. of niggas out here ain't really living what they spent. See me getting paid, but a nigga could be paid more. Money up the books, you won't know a nigga paid more. My hand in my pocket, my knife's in the left palm. I'm a calm nigga just as long as you stay calm. See me getting paid, but a nigga could be paid more.